once I get that one carry and, you know, start getting everything going, then it just like, I just heat up real quick. Devontae Booker is one of the most punishing running backs that you're going to see at the college level right now. Breaks tackles, plays with a lot of enthusiasm, and uh, probably the biggest thing is just very physical. He got the speed, he, he run through blockers, he'll lower his nose and try to get that extra yard, he'll outrun you, he all the above. Every time I get the ball, I just kind of angry. You look at his yards after contact, I think he has 1,200 yards over the past two years, which is the most among anybody in the Power Five. But the thing that really separates him is not only can he run through people, but he can also run around them. He has great vision, he has great cutback ability, and he also is really good at catching passes, which really separates him from a lot of the other elite college running backs. Every time I get the ball, I want to do something great with it. Devante's journey to Utah was anything but direct. You know, just for me to get here, I probably signed like the most letter intents to go to any school. During one of his seasons in high school, he ran for 2,800 yards and 45 touchdowns, just insane numbers leading his team to the state title. And it sort of looked all lined up for him to go to Washington State. They pulled a scholarship because I only took the SAT test once, so I didn't get the score I needed. So really, they just, you know, pulled it and didn't let me take it again. Then it looked a little bit like he was going to go to Fresno State, but apparently the ACT that he took and actually did well on um, did not get submitted in time. He got a composite score of 28, thinking everything good, and now I'm finally about to leave, but they call me and tell me NCAA mark me as a non-qualifier. I was like, why? They really didn't give me no explanation for it. So it was like all kind of weird and sketchy about the whole thing. He actually took a year off to sort of get his head right and figure out is this something that I really want to sort of pursue, that I want to chase this dream? At that point in time, I'm just like, man, did I really want to play football again? I'm like, nah, I just hurry up, shook that out of my head. I went to American River Junior College. Had a big season there, uh, and then transferred to Utah. Did all my work that I needed to do at uh, American River, and I had this one online class, and the teacher, she took forever grade in my work, so it cost me, like, that whole 2013 year, it's like every time I'm about to leave, something always happened. Finally got that grade back from my teacher, passed the class, and then you know I was up here like the next day after I didn't got that grade. Been just writing my story ever since. He just grinded for everything. Once he got here, he's doing tremendous academically. The bottom line uh, to me is not where you start, where you finish. And, and uh, he's worked his rear end off, not just on the field, but academically to accomplish what he's accomplishing right now. The great thing about, about Book, the Heisman's one thing. I mean, that's something that everybody dreams of when you're a young person. More importantly to him is us winning football games and us having an opportunity to win the Pac-12 championship. I, I may see it here and there, like everybody, my friends or family just text me about all the Heisman stuff. It'll get here when it get here. Um, until then, I just, you know, keep playing hard out there on the field, do what I need to do. I think there's a lot of tough candidates this year, especially at his position. If he has a huge second half, who knows what happens? I mean, I think it's, it's unlikely, but I don't think it's impossible, and I think he is going to be one of the top players in the country at year's end. If the Heisman come, he, he would be so grateful for it, but he worried about when. He just, all he want to do is win. He, he don't care if he get one touch for one yard. He's very modest, very modest. You wouldn't know that uh, Devontae Booker was the Devontae Booker you see on the football field. That's a great quality. We all want to be undefeated at the end of the year and, you know, play in the playoffs and all those type of big things. But as of right now, we just got to take it one game at a time. He wants to get Utah to the college football playoff. This is something that was probably a long shot at the beginning of the year. But here we are. They've beaten some pretty good teams. They crushed Oregon. So he's really going to be motivated to push the Utes to heights that they haven't been at. As far as the next level goes, you look at NFL chatter right now and Devontae is seen as the top back in the 2016 draft. I've coached in the NFL, I've seen a lot of players in the NFL, and, and Devontae Booker will be a heck of a player in the NFL. I don't want to just be that 
that person just be like, I made it to the NFL and I want to, you know, continue to be great.